Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be taking the Magic Town tag. So this was created by Madeline Swan, and I was tagged by her in the original video. I recommend checking out her channel as well. She's a like British author tuber. She writes Bizarro, very cool booktuber. So. Uh, let's get to the questions. So there are seven questions. The idea of this as well is that you're building a town. It's a bit like the uh, build your own Neverland tag, I suppose, except with a town as opposed to like a realm, a country. Uh, so let's get going. Question one, which literary character would be the mayor? So for me, I think it would have to be John Farr from Philip Pullman's uh, Northern Lights or the His Dark Materials trilogy. So if you've read that book, you'll know that John Farr is the kind of, he's the ruler of the Egyptians and uh, they all live on houseboats in the Fens here in uh, the UK. And he basically, as well as being just their domestic leader, he then leads the expedition to the north to try and track down some uh, some kids that have been kidnapped. And I just think he's a he's a good leader. He also has the benefit of having far decorum as one of his advisors. And I just think he would be a fantastic mayor. I feel like this is one of those answers where if you have read Northern Lights, you're going to agree with me because it's John Far, man. All right, question two: What book-related world would you set the town in? So for me, I guess I'm going to go for Tolkien's Middle Earth, and this is The Fellowship of the Ring. And specifically, it would be like one of the uh, little villages just off the Shire. So um, you know where you get to like, where is it, like Bree, where you have, uh, you know, it's where all the humans live, but it's not too far from the Shire. I, I think that's where my, my town would be. Question three, what potential danger would you not mind facing? So, I don't really like danger, so I can't think of any danger that I wouldn't mind facing. I'd always be like, oh no, there's some danger. However, I guess something minor, I've put down here, uh, let me read this out, I've put on my notes. Something like a dodgy mage trying to usurp power, so we're gonna go for that. I don't have a book for that though. I guess I'd go for, I could also go for this, I have this next to me, uh, Crested a Cow or How to Cheat a Dragon's Curse. I mean, as much as dragons are terrifying, nobody ever seems to get hurt in these books, so. Question number four, what creatures would you farm? Okay, so I'm vegan, so I would not farm the creatures. I'd grow some vegetables, I'd have a pretty badass herb garden, so um, I guess I'd, you know, I'd be like Professor Sprout from uh, the Harry Potter books by J.K. Rowling and just have a big greenhouse full of like, well, I don't know, I guess I couldn't, I couldn't eat a mandrake because that's, that's literally, that's eating a baby, surely. I mean, surely nobody would eat a mandrake. That'd be really cruel. I can't even farm mandrakes. What? <laughs> anyway, anything, anything planty is fine. And uh, yeah. I don't know, some sort of magic, we need, we need some like sort of magic silk. No, hang on, silk comes from spiders, so we can't do that. Some magic cotton. Has anyone ever done that? I don't know, anyway. Question number five, what character would the town worship as a god and how would you celebrate on the solstice? So I'm going for Charlie from Firestarter. So she's a little pigtail haired little girl who can start fires basically. She has kind of psychic abilities. And we would celebrate the solstice by having a massive pyre, you know, like like a big burning man, that kind of thing. We wouldn't actually burn people. Maybe we'd burn our enemies, but um, fuck them. But um, yeah, I mean, and if Charlie was there, like manifest as well as her, you know, physical manifestation, as opposed to just a legend that we all celebrate, then uh, she could start the fire as well. Question number six: Which town would you be twinned with? So this one was an easy one. It would be Ankh Morpork from the Discworld books, and this one specifically is Men at Arms by Terry Pratchett. And uh, yeah, we would be twinned with Ankh Morpork because why not? I guess. Well, I guess you know we can learn from Ankh Morpork and maybe not pollute the river as much. Question number seven: Which character would be your love interest? So I don't really do the whole book boyfriend slash girlfriend thing. I mean, I don't really like romance in books in general. I'm going here, for, and this is going to sound weird, but for Miley O'Hara from Driven by Dane Cobain, 
Can I say a character I created? I mean, my reasoning for this is that I know her really well. So, I think, as, on top of the fact that we'd get on, I mean, she's kind of a, a heavily tattooed loner who likes computer games. And I, I, I don't know, maybe we wouldn't get on, but I have a feeling we'd have a similar music taste. And also, like I say, I created her, so I know what makes her tick. Alright, so that's the end of this tag. I'm going to tag some people. Uh, my usual method for doing this is to go into my YouTube, go into my dashboard, and see who's recently commented on some of my videos. So I am going to tag Weird Reads, Mindy's Book Journey, uh, Alyssa H. Wrights, The Reading Werewolf, Novel Crawler, Fixie Dust, and Todd the Librarian. So there we have it. That was the Magic Town book tag. This was a lot of fun. Come and visit me in my town. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of the books that I mentioned in this video. And if so, you know, whether you agree with my uh, answers and whatnot. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.